Well, welcome once again, friends, to episode three of the Iron Horse Project. As you can see, this is where we left off last time. And so the project today is going to detail the construction of three different parts uh, of that uh, are mounted to the top of the steam cylinder. And one is the funnel, uh, which will be made out of uh, Tasmanian blackwood. And the others are a combination of timbers, one which will, uh, will manufacture this little steam dome that sits towards the back of the engine. And the other one is a sand dome. And a sand dome, of course, is used to store sand uh, to help the, the, the train. It drops on the tracks and, and helps uh, traction for braking. And so uh, that's what that little fella's for. And the timber used in these two little uh, domes are a combination of ash as the highlights and purple heart. So here we are uh, beginning to glue up the Tasmanian blackwood uh, for the funnel. And uh, as you can see, my uh, very speedy gluing prowess is on display yet again. One of those jobs I like because I get to sit down, relieves the back. <laughs> so we glue that fellow up and we set him aside. And now we're gluing up the little cylinders. Um, as I said, they're a combination, as you can see, the, the ash highlight there. And uh, I'm using just a, a barbecue skewer. I, I drilled them centre, similarly as I, uh, similar to when I, I um, put together the main body of the engine, I'm um, using the same process. And, and because I'm a Scrooge, I made them both together. Um, where the ruler is, stick, is sticking in between, is, there's no glue there, and the, the rulers there just are separated enough so I can, uh, when they're glued up, I can finally get a blade in there just to separate the uh, bamboo skewer. Pop him into the uh, clamp as well, and uh, that's me done for the day. I'll let them dry overnight and uh, start turning tomorrow. So now we begin the process of uh, turning, and uh, firstly we're making the funnel, which is the piece made out of blackwood. And as you can see on the drawing, that's what it's to end up in, uh, like. So we just uh, Turning the paper obviously uh, on its edge and folding it, and we're able to transfer those um, lines to the uh, to the timber um, just for roughing out uh, to get our proportions correct. And, um, so transfer those lines so I can see it. There are squared the end there and in this process the um, the funnel or, the, or the, sorry the main uh, stem if you like uh, which we're doing at the moment um, I can't get down to final size on that end because of the uh, the headstock um, but I'll get to this as you can see I've just flipped it around so I'm able then to uh, get it where the live center is it's not going to it won't catch so um, we'll be able to get down to the actual size that is required using the parting tool and of course I've measured that against the opening in the top of the um, the main body now we're shaping up the 
using a variety of tools, including my skew and parting tool, and then I come back with my uh, carbide tip square scraper, which is marvellous. I it's a very good tool. There's no doubt, though, the uh, my little screwdriver skew, which is one. I'm calling it. It's very good for getting into tight corners and for particularly doing small beads and coves. Um, I really don't have anything uh, in my arsenal that does it quite as well. So, and particularly on, on this very small stuff, um, small turnings where um, the detail is called for. Um, it's uh, very good. So here we're just finishing off the, with a little bit of polish and there you have, have it now, and you've got a sneak preview of actually the, uh, the little uh, steam canister that sits up on top of a little uh, tunnel, a steam tunnel. Um, I've already done one so, and, and that happened because um, I was waiting for the battery to recharge on, on my camera and so I went ahead and did one. I thought, well, it won't matter because I, you'll get the process from the second one that I do. By way of mounting, we've fitted a waste block to a faceplate, and uh, the waste block has at its centre, as you saw, a, a little pin, and that, and I've drilled the centre um, of the timber block, and um, it does a double stick tape. Tape is just uh, held on and centered at the centre. That manner, so um, it's quite a, a good little system, and I picked that up again off the internet. Uh, people doing very small pieces and rings and jewellery and what have you. Um, so it's quite a, a good process to do when you, you're doing some pretty small stuff. But as we you can see, we're working to a guide and uh, just putting in the lines where they approximately should be in terms of the detail of this. Uh, this is the uh, sand dome. Um, that uh, section in the top two pieces, you see the larger purple heart piece there, that's slightly larger, the base of it. So we're just uh, getting to uh, zero in a little bit so you can see a little bit of the detail. At this point, it was the job for my makeshift parting tool. Uh, very, very narrow, of course, um, just to really give some definition to those lines and uh, just a, a little bit of uh, undercutting of the beads just to make them nice and crisp and clear and then resort to my uh, screwdriver. I get mental blocks when it comes to describing my tools. Um, <laughs> you can see what I'm using, basically. Party tool. Just a, and basically, and anything at hand, as you know, anything at hand that uh, does, the, the, does the job. I am not fussy, and I'm not a traditionalist. Uh, I'm still learning about all these things. And by the way, um, probably shameful to admit, I still haven't yet purchased a, uh, a bowl gouge of any description. Um, I sort of went straight to uh, scraper uh, and then from the scraper to my carbide tool. So um, I will get around to using it because uh, I have used one um, in a class that I, I went to early on in the piece and certainly it's good but I've never um, been a bit of being a pension, I've never had the ready cash to Go and get one straight away. So, uh, I dare say that I can. So we're just completing the details, as you can see. And, uh, yes, the entry sanding and then finishing off the sand road. It sits approximately in the centre of the engine. 
Of course, uh, as you can see there, uh, we need to uh, put a curve in the bottom that matches the curve of the, uh, of the engine. cutaway shot that needed to be because there's a lot of sand in it but just by fine uh, touches of the sander and uh, eventually it becomes invisible. So there we are, there's uh, what we're trying to achieve and there we have the end of the episode and the funnel, the steam dome and the sand dome all completed so thank you very much for watching guys and we'll see you next time bye <music>